This is a story about Tracy Miller. Tracy Miller is a young woman from Brixton in South London. Miller was one of four children living with her single mum after her father was sent to prison when she was just five years old. Growing up in Brixton, Tracy soon got used to seeing crime and drug dealing from a young age. Being a single woman raising four children, Tracy's mum was very strict with Tracy's upbringing. She wouldn't let Tracy play out in the area where they lived and Tracy wasn't allowed to wear any kinds of trendy clothing. Because of this, Tracy started to experience some bullying at school. As Tracy reached her teens, she was fed up of the constant bullying at school. So one day Tracy decided to take a kitchen knife with her into her all-girls school in South London. In an interview speaking about the day, Tracy once said, I hid it in my pocket and when one of the bullies struck, I pulled it on her. It was a turning point. Having the knife made me feel safe. I began taking a knife to school every day. Suddenly people were too frightened to bully me. Tracy began regularly getting into fights until one day a fight went too far when Tracy tried to stab another girl at her school. Tracy was kicked out of her all-girls school in South London and sent to another school. But she had now built up a reputation for carrying a knife and being ready to use it. This also made other young girls look up to her. Tracy soon became the bully and became the leader of her own gang. Tracy was later expelled from her new school. Tracy was now the head of her own gang. Tracy's gang would rob shops and off licenses, waving knives at the shopkeepers until they emptied the till. Becoming more involved in the street life, Tracy soon started selling drugs for a local drug dealer. Selling heroin, Tracy felt like her knife wasn't enough anymore. So Tracy decided to buy a gun from one of her friends for extra protection. Feeling paranoid and feeling like people were out to get her. Every night, Tracy would keep her gun in her bedside drawer so she could get to it quick if she needed to. Tracy was arrested and charged for a street robbery and later sent to prison. Tracy said mugging and street robberies weren't something she got involved in. Even though she was innocent in the crime, she was still convicted. Tracy looked at her prison sentence as a break from the street life, a break from living on the edge and having to look over her shoulder every minute of every day. Tracy once said that I felt I would be safe in prison and at last, I slept soundly at night, but this didn't last long because as soon as Tracy was released, she was back on the streets doing the same thing. Not long after being released from prison, Tracy got into an argument with a rival gang. Moments later, shots were fired. Tracy was shot in the arm and leg. While discussing the shooting in an interview, Tracy said, the sky lit up and we all jumped to the ground. But when I got up to run, I collapsed in agony, realizing she'd been shot. Tracy's friends called her an ambulance. Tracy was taken to hospital but worried that she would be arrested. She gave a false name and discharged herself as soon as the doctors had cleaned her up. Being shot had been absolutely terrifying. Tracy said, but I realized I was lucky I wasn't shot in the head. Tracy soon sank into depression. She was still involved with her gang, but things weren't the same for Tracy after being shot. At the young age of 19, Tracy took an overdose of sleeping tablets, but luckily she was found by her friend. When Tracy came around the next day in hospital, the doctor told her they had done some routine blood tests which revealed she was pregnant. Tracy took this as a wake up call to change her life. Years later, Tracy now holds workshops for young people, teaching them how being in a gang is not the right way and how it affected her own life. From being shot to going to prison, Tracy was still able to turn her life around and help the next generation from making the same mistakes she did. She also wrote her own book titled Sour about her troubled life while growing up. When speaking with the Daily Mail, Tracy said, I don't want sympathy. This is just a story that I felt needed to be told. This is to convince other youngsters to come out and tell their story or convince them to change their paths. In an interview with PDC member, Jaja Sows, Tracy said, the fact that I'm from South London, just a normal person and can get into the media and make moves and write a book, that should inspire you. If I can do it and I'm no one special, you can do it. For the latest in urban news and stories, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, Hit that notification bell and stay tuned into Real Stories UK.
for more stories like this, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell and stay tuned into Real Stories UK.